Good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, we are interested in uh, understanding uh, regulation of female fertility with, a, uh, with an emphasis on granulosa cell functions. Canadian dairy cattle uh, is a genetically prized animal uh, in the sense that uh, cows are capable of producing 10,000 kilograms of milk for every lactation. As this graph uh, demonstrates here, a cow becomes profitable only during her second lactation. And unfortunately, the average number of lactations that cows spend on their uh, herd is 1.6, which is a staggeringly low number compared to the potential of up to six lactations from each cow. The major reason for such culling from the herd is reproduction, and this trend has been increasing uh, over the past 10 to 15 years. Intriguingly, the fertility problems seem to appear only when cows begin to lactate or produce milk, uh, wherein the heifers, which are uh, non-producing animals, uh, do not seem to have such uh, uh, reproductive problems. This was well demonstrated by comparing heifers and uh, lactating cows by a Wild Bank group, in which they demonstrated that cows have larger but less functional follicles and corpora lutea compared to heifers. This raised to the question, what are the molecular signals that perturb ovarian functions, thus causing reproductive failure? We tried to extend upon this question, wherein we compared again lactating cows and heifers, but at the level of microenvironment of the dominant follicle and showed that cows' dominant follicles are featured with lower glucose, triglycerides and IGF-1, but also higher BHBA, bile acids, and cholesterol in their dominant follicles. Leading us to our overall hypothesis that metabolic alterations associated with uh, parturition and lactation modulate gonadotropin signaling to the ovary. To test this general hypothesis, our ongoing projects include characterization of uh, metabolite profile and underlying hepatic gene expression in dairy cows during early lactation, establishing the relationship between uh, metabolic stress and metabolite profile and follicular microenvironment, effect of abnormal metabolite uh, abundance on gonadotropin-regulated granulosa cell function in vitro, role of ARC1-2 signaling pathway in uh, bovine ovulation, and also regulation of granulosa cell gene expression uh, uh, through histone modifications and transcription factors using mouse granulosa cells. To achieve these uh, projects, uh, we use uh, experimental approaches such as transrectal ultrasonography, uh, in vitro systems such as granulosa cell cultures, gene-targeted mouse models, hormonal and biochemical analysis, and also molecular biology techniques that are both targeted and global in nature. And we hope to uh, uh, contribute toward understanding metabolic signaling uh, to the ovary, mechanisms of uh, infertility in dairy cows, development of markers uh, of infertility and cow comfort, and also fundamental mechanisms of ovarian granulosa cell functions and overall female fertility. And to Achieve this, our group is consists of uh, Yasmin, Meadow, uh, Milena, and Audrey. Thank you.